In this video, I'm going to show you how to format dual dialogue in Final Draft. Oftentimes in your script, you have multiple characters in a scene and they're not waiting for their turn to speak one after the other, but they sometimes overlap each other or speak at the same time, just like in real life, right? So how do you indicate that in a script? There is a simple solution for this. It's called dual dialogue and I'll show you how to format this in Final Draft. It's very simple. In your script, write the dialogue just like you would any other scene, one character after the other, and then select the lines of both characters and go to Format, Dual Dialogue, or hit Command D on the Mac, Control Alt D on the PC. As you see, Final Draft now places the two blocks of dialogue side by side to indicate this is happening at the same time. One thing you need to be aware of, you can't edit your dialogue in dual dialogue form. If you double click on it, it will revert back to normal dialogue. Or what you can do also, you select the dialogue and go to format dual dialogue again. One thing that is funny about dual dialogue, if you go to dual dialogue again, and now let's say uh, we have the cursor at the end of this dual dialogue block and I just hit enter, now the cursor, you see that it jumps to the next line without keeping a distance between this dialogue line. And if you take a look at the element up top in the element menu, you see that Final Draft now tries to place a general element here, which doesn't make any sense, but it doesn't matter if you hit the Enter key and just select the element you want. Most likely it's going to be a scene heading or an action line. And then you can just keep on writing.